Hey guys, I want to take advantage of this opportunity with the shelter in place, social distancing. I really feel like uh, we could let our fitness be on the wayside and we could let it go a little bit. And I really feel like this is a great opportunity to learn through social media what's out there that could add to your regimen. Uh, we know, you know, running and going out for runs and things like that is great, but I really want to focus more on the strength. Uh, I think strength is a very important part to keep you injury free and variety is the spice of life so i wanted to give you some opportunities to uh, to look at what i have in a very small gym or garage i should say uh, and how what i do to stay in shape specifically working on my strength uh, also wanted to mention that you know volt athletics is a great app that kind of gets you through uh, workouts you can pick your own if you're having trouble with, if you ever try it, try it for free. I would love to help you with that. I can uh, show you how to um, change your movements and based on the equipment you have, what kind of injuries you have too. I'm very knowledgeable about all this stuff uh, the, because I've done it all and I've gone through a lot and interviewed a lot of people. So uh, just throwing that out there, that, that might be a good uh, foundation for you to use this equipment. But right now I'm just gonna go through a few things this might be a little longer video than usual, um, but I'm going to just go right to it. I actually have a list of things to go through for you. So first of all, um, Lowe's and Home Depot, uh, they're all open right now. So getting a PVC pipe would work wonders for a few things. You could do overhead squats with this. So you could just go over your head, find a length over your shoulders that's, that's comparable, that you feel comfortable with, and doing squats with it. You could use this as a swing. So if you have enough room, maybe go out in a field or something, you could use this as a swing, and you'll realize that you could really build your racket head speed by just swinging with this. I, in fact, I did this with just my left hand over the winter to increase my uh, strength on my backhand side because it's getting picked on a little too much. Um, another thing you could think about that's cheap is checking out bands. Bands work really well, especially uh, working out on your uh, couple things to stay injury free is to work on strengthening your glutes and your hamstrings and your hips and all of this is right on um, all these bands can really focus on that and all the the things that might not be as uh, easy to remember or know I have little side videos as you can see that might show you how to do some of these exercises but very well uh, I very highly recommended to use bands um, another type of band would be something that's a little longer and these guys are uh, used these guys can be used more for maybe upper body um, you find some place uh, in fact you could just use use a door right here <laughs> and if you hook it up to um, a stationary spot make sure that it's obviously strong enough to hold and you could do a lot of exercises with this resistance band right here uh, you could do this in your house as well but um, one thing is you could do uh, upper body where you could work on your uh, your uh, work on your traps or sorry your uh, tri triceps okay. is if you use a balsu ball um, it helps with creating some balance so if you want to you could step on this and then you could work on holding this in place and this would really be good for you to work on your balance but also your core strength so I'm not talking about rotating which is also a good thing to do like rotating with a band and, and doing that but I'm saying holding it in place and that's something that a lot of players uh, tend to ne neglect but it's a very uh, good opportunity to strengthen your core without overusing it because tennis is a lot of rotation so if you're stationary and holding some resistance your stomach will work without that movement that could cause some irritation speaking of this balsu ball other things you can use it for though is just stepping on and using it for balance you could add weights as well and as you add weights uh, you could even do one you try using one leg and coming down and trying to um, keep balance as best you can really good for your ankles and stability and you'll realize that um, your hamstrings and your glutes are activating, which is really important for this. So another one that I would recommend is try to do a um, medicine ball, all right? So a medicine ball, like this guy, you can use this not only for your stomach, there's some really good exercises to use for your stomach, but you could also use it 
to increase the strength of your hamstrings that not a lot of people will do. Uh, you can do bridges or you can do hamstring curls with it. And these exercises I do a lot and it really helps uh, strengthen the back of your legs because tennis is a very quad dominant sport. We want to make sure that we have balance and keep us injury free. We'll want to strengthen the back side of our legs as well. So this, uh, this medicine ball could do a lot for that, not only uh, for your stomach. This is a uh, box jump that I made. And the box jump can be designed, there's so many videos out there that allow you to make a box jump. I even, in fact, I have a pull-up bar that I'd recommend making too. I have a video on that, how to make a pull-up bar. But all you want to do is kind of create a box jump that is good for you to use for what is a, what distance you feel is good for you to use for your jumping ability. So I'm a pretty tall person, so obviously I have my box jump pretty high, but you can also know that I don't need to use the high part. I could also turn it over and use the low part for other things as well. So um, making it very sturdy with uh, wood glue is super important and some good wood screws definitely important for you to build this up for you. So the other things that you might want to think about too is the weights, right? So weights are important for, you know, this, all this stuff can help with building strength, but you can also work on strength with weights, right? So weights, uh, simple ones, you don't even have to have um, specific weights for this. You could have maybe a gallon of water and fill it with water, right? And you just get a PVC pipe. I have a steel one here that I was using for something else. And all you have to do is reach out in front, and this would be really good for your grip as you go up and down with your uh, with the weight and as you can see I'm bringing it up slowly and then I would bring it back down slowly so this is a really good exercise for keeping your grip strength up because if you're not playing a lot of tennis right now uh, that's something that you'll you'll probably lose a little bit because tennis players do have a, a strong grip but it can go on the wayside if you neglect it so that's something that's pretty easy to do right um, other weights though uh, we get into are a little bit more pricey but I still want to go through it because I think they're important so the barbell is definitely important for for weight training so this guy will allow you to do some exercises I like to do the basic exercises for me that I really think are important so there's four basic ones that I like and that would be the front squat so I'm trying to keep pressure off my back so my back is something I want to keep in really good condition because I'm on the tennis court a lot, uh, training and also doing, uh, uh, doing some instruction. So I want to keep my back strong and the front squat helps that out instead of the back squat. I also like to do uh, backwards lunges with this and forward lunges and also deadlifts. Those are all, notice I do a lot of leg exercises, upper body, uh, I do a little bit, but not as much because it's um, not as important for the sport of tennis. And also, just for mobility issues, you know, if you have a strong legs and core, you can do a lot with other sports. I love to play many sports. I love to hike. I'm in Colorado here, so hiking's a big deal to me too. Uh, but at upper body, you can also do this for curls. You can also do this for uh, shoulder presses as well. But this is definitely some good exercise you can get out of this that I really enjoy. Uh, another one is getting some barbells and barbells are pretty pricey if you buy them individually which I do not like to do because uh, it's a lot of material to put in your garage so instead I have something like this where all I have to do is unscrew the cap here and I can put in more or less weight and I can adjust the weights accordingly uh, you do have limits to how heavy it will get, but again, I'm not trying to get bulky or try to lift too much weight anyway. I'm just trying to have some sort of resistance. So weights uh, are good, but they don't have to be incredibly heavy. So I like to use these guys uh, for a variety of things. You could use them for um, uh, upper body, push press, things like that. You could do them for lunges. Uh, you could do them for um, uh, shoulder exercise, very light shoulder exercises. You could use them for your rotator cuff. Plenty of exercises dumbbells could do, you could do for. It all depends on what is good for you individually. So that's the, the important thing to figure out what exercises will, you'll get the most out of. Uh, you could also use them as kettlebells 
If you have a heavy kettlebell though, they work pretty well. So kettlebells are pretty nice to use too. I love these. Uh, you can do them for kettlebell swings, but you could also try them out with uh, like one arm snatches, Turkish get ups, if you've heard of those. Uh, those are all good exercises. And if you only have one weight, like I have a very heavy kettlebell, a Turkish get up would be pretty difficult for that type of weight. So I could use um, maybe a barbell, or sorry, a dumbbell and, and incorporate the same movements. So all of these things are um, available uh, for you. you. All you have to do is go to the, like a Home Depot or go to a, sp a sports store or online, um, but lots of variety. You don't need weights, but I just want to give you guys as much opportunity as I can. Try Volt Athletics too. Uh, send me a message, be happy to help and we can work something out, but good luck and stay fit.